welcome back guys to another video and today uh, i finally have a working demonstration of the new raspberry pi gpu driver present uh, created by eric anhold now what happened last time was i hadn't researched enough and uh, i forgot to disable the dynamic memory allocation for the gpu and the cpu which resulted in the uh, raspberry pi crashing very often uh, when you drag the windows now um, i was able to do that and i have uh, had pretty great results and uh, in this video we will be looking at uh, some gaming pro performance using open arena now that's a open source multiplayer game and uses the open gl so that should be great and also uh, if you guys want to check out a very large uh, collection of gpu based demos for the raspberry pi 2 you can click on the link uh, somewhere in this video i'll put a link and you can click on it and you can check that out it's amazing it's very long it's amazing and it's great fun so for today's video let's get started and first we'll go through uh, how the game runs without the gpu driver and then we'll see what the performance is so this is practical e is a gaming benchmark for the raspberry pi 2 let's get started Alright guys, we are back with the uh, open arena running on uh, the Raspberry Pi which does not have the GPU drivers installed yet. So as you can see, the frame rate even on the menu is very very slow. Uh, and let's try to get the game started. Uh, as you can see, it's really hard to navigate. So let's go straight into the fight and see if it actually works at all it's the frames the frame rate is very very low uh, I'm having issues uh, working with the mouse alright guys uh, it took me some time and I am back and as you can see we are running at even uh, less than a uh, 0 fps so somewhere in like uh, a one frame in two or three seconds so as you can see i can barely move there barely any animations on the screen there goes one step one more frame so it's it's going uh, very very low so it's at around like it takes more than a second to render uh, even a single fra uh, frame so uh, I'm going to shut this down and we'll see uh, how the uh, Raspberry Pi with the graphics GPU perform and I'll be back in just a moment. Alright guys, I am back with the uh, oh, Raspberry Pi with the uh, GPU drivers installed and as you can already see, it's a lot, lot smoother. Mouse works well, the background animation as well the animation behind the uh, logo, it's all very smooth. So without any delay let's uh, let's start the game and see how it performs uh, i'll use the same map all right and let's select fight and take it on the easy mode now even the loading time is uh, very fast due to the fact that uh, most of the graphics is being handled by the GPU and not the CPU. The CPU is under 50% load at this moment. So uh, let's now, as you can see, the frame rates are already being displayed, and uh, they might seem as small numbers compared to uh, bigger gaming uh, CPUs or even your phone. But two things to keep in mind: it's it's just the uh, the driver has just been developed. It's it's not something. Uh, you know you see every day it's under development so let's before we get ourselves killed uh, let's get moving and as you can see it's a lot smoother than what we were uh, playing there uh, with without the graphics driver installed and le I'll, I'll play for some time and uh, let you guys see how this actually is
so as you guys can see it's it's actually pretty playable uh, it's not half as bad and uh, uh, what i want to do is go ahead and try uh, uh, there's one map which actually gives a very high frame rate so let's go ahead and try that map all right so let's check that map out uh, let's see uh, I guess it was the yeah yes it was this map it has only one kind of opponent and let's play So as you can see we are uh, at the cent almost at the center of uh, some area in the map and we are getting around uh, 15, 14 and, or 16 frames uh, per second as compared to 10 or 11 on the other map. So this would be a lot smoother but uh, of course there is a lot more work to be done on the uh, graphics driver. It's, it's, uh, I guess it's not even in pre-alpha, it's not even out for I mean it's open source so you can download and compile it on your own or uh, download one of the compiled images but uh, yeah, it's not something that has been officially uh, released as working so it's still in development and if you guys want to go and check it out try it for yourself I'll leave the link in the description uh, well I guess this is about it thanks for watching and uh, I'll see you guys later. Bye-bye.